Hey everyone, welcome back to another video here on Dark Sack. I am Dark, and today we're going to be taking a look at the room Bounty Hacker on Try Hackney. You talked a big game about being the most elite hacker in the solar system, prove it and claim your right to the status of elite bounty hacker. Uh, this is a great room for beginners, just because it shows how you can take little bits of information um, that may appear to be somewhat abstract and use them to ultimately gain access to a system. That being said, I'm going to go ahead and start the attack box as well as the machine attached to this room. Um, where we can go ahead and mark the first task complete as we've deployed the machine. Um, and now we need to start by scanning the machine in question. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video to let these machines load. And when we're back, we're going to go ahead and start by running Nmap against it. All right, let's go ahead and jump into running Nmap against this box. So we'll start with that with Nmap. Dash S V for service version enumeration. And then I'm also going to do, uh, we'll do dash P dash to make sure there's no hidden ports on this and then start that up. And that should complete pretty quickly since we are scanning on the track me network. We'll go ahead and mark the next question as complete since we've, uh, we're in the process of discovering the open ports on the machine. Um, and it looks like our next thing is to find a task list. All right, so we'll give this just a moment for Nmap to complete. Uh, while that's running, we can go ahead and check and see if there is a website running on port 80. Um, we'll give it just a moment for Firefox to load. A lot of times CTF boxes like this have just a website running on port 80. So I will just spin up Firefox while I'm waiting on a scan to complete. So we'll give this a moment. And it looks like we have a web page with some anime characters on there. Looks like we have Spike, Jet, Ed, and Faye that are mentioned uh, as well. Yeah, Ein. Um, so we'll let that. Uh, it looks like it's nothing too important. We do have usernames here, which is something that we can go ahead and write down. Um, so let's go ahead. We'll bring up our terminal again. Open new tab rather let's do open tab nano users.txt uh we had ed fay uh ein let's see what else we got uh spike and jet and if you know what anime this is referencing feel free to put that down in the comment section i'm not actually sure um <laughs> i think this is cowboy bebop uh, if I'm guessing correctly, I have not seen it. I'm terrible. I know. Uh, <laughs> so we'll go ahead and minimize that. There doesn't seem to be anything too important on there. So we can just save that as users.txt. And we'll see how much time is left in our MMAP scan. Looks like it's really thinking about it. I'm going to go ahead and pause this. And once we're back, the MMAP scan should be all done. There we go. I ended up restarting the MMAP scan, and now we have our results. It looks like we have FTP, SSH, and HTTP open. Um, FTP is one that I'm going to go ahead and start digging into now. Uh, let's go ahead, and we can attempt to see if there's anonymous login open on that. So we'll do FTP anonymous at the box 10, 165, 135. Uh, let's see. Looks like we didn't actually connect. Uh, give me just a moment. Let's see, FTP, and then we'll do the IP. There we go, that should do it. Um, anonymous, and there we go. We can see that we successfully connected as the anonymous user. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab everything in here, uh, just using mget, and there we go. Type by to exit out FTP. So mget uh, star just grabs everything in the directory. And now we can start going through it on our computer. So we had the locks, task, and then users.txt. Uh, so our next one is the who wrote the task list. We'll take a look at that task document. Um, looks like it was written by Lynn. Uh, it says, protect vicious, plan for red eye pickup on the moon. Uh, again, <laughs> I haven't watched this anime, so I don't really know what's going on. Uh, but that is another username that we can add into our users.txt. Let's go ahead and do that now. Users.txt. And then we can put in lin. And then let's check and see what's in that locks.txt. 
Okay, so that looks like a password dictionary that we are meant to use. Um, this is something that's clearly custom for this room, uh, which is cool to see it themed after that. What service can you brute force with the text file found? Given that it is three characters, I would imagine that we're going to be brute forcing SSH, uh, and I need to type that over here. And we can do that with Hydra. So we'll do Hydra, and give me a moment, I'm scrolling down on my notes. We can do Hydra, SSH, and then the machine IP, which is going to be 10, 10, 165, 137. And then we need dash L, which is going to be dash capital L rather, uh, our users dot txt. And then dash P is going to be the locks dot txt for our password list. We'll go and let that start up. We should get a password here in just a moment. And it looks like we're meant to find our user's password this way anyways. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. Once it is back, we should have this all done. And there we go. Right after I had paused the video, we got our password and our username. So it looks like we didn't even need those users from the site, but we did get uh, the login of Lin and then the password of Red Dragon Syndicate with a couple characters swapped out. So we can grab that by going over here to the clipboard. Enter that in. And now we can just log in. I'm going to open up a new tab or go back to the original tab rather. We'll do SSH lin at 10, 10, 165, 135. And we'll type yes because we do want to trust that fingerprint. And we'll paste this since we have the password on our clipboard. And there we go. I'll go ahead and cat the user.txt so we can complete that. And you can see how we've already taken a little bit of information that we've gathered from the machine and already put it to use to gain initial access. Um, and a lot of times this can happen with using a default password list. Uh, so, for example, using RockU and just checking to see if we can get uh, a random password, or, um, especially at a service that might not have lockout enabled, um, which we saw on SSH in this instance. Uh, that's one of the reasons why a lot of people don't believe that their usernames should be uh, secret. Um, however, they should be, uh, because especially if you're using the same username on multiple services, I mean, if you're using the same password on multiple services, guess what? If someone figures that combination out, you're kind of done for. Um, and it's why a lot of people argue that one, you should be using different usernames on different services and two, you should, well, this is a no brainer. You should always have different passwords on everything. So uh, we've got the user.txt. Now we move on to escalating to root. The first thing that I like to do, especially since we have our user's password, is check and see if uh, we can run sudo with anything. Uh, let me go ahead and grab his password again. We'll grab that right there. Copy to the clipboard and see if we can run anything with sudo, especially since this is a beginner box. Uh, it looks like we can run tar as root on here. Whenever we can run something with sudo, usually we can use GTFO bins with it. If you're not familiar with GTFO bins, this is a way that we can go and abuse uh, the binaries that we would have sudo or another form of ele or elevated access to run. Uh, so for example, um, if we have uh, set UID binaries or something like that, uh, and they're something that's found on the system natively, we can abuse it with GTFO bins. T GTFO bins. Um, okay, we'll click I agree on that. There we go. So this is GTFO bins. Uh, we can go ahead and see. I know for a fact tar is on here that we can abuse it with sudo. Um, and it looks like we have our first one up here. If we're just running it with sudo, we can go ahead and copy this and it should just spawn a root shell. So this is just abusing features that are built into tar to actually, uh, in this uh, point, we are running it with a checkpoint that has an execute. And since we're running tar as root, this execute is running as root, which spawns us a shell. Um, we can go ahead and paste that right here. And there we go. We can see that if we type who am I, pretty simple, we are root. I'm gonna go and cd to root and grab root.txt. Uh, cat root.txt. I don't have a full, uh, fully fledged shell, uh, so I can't uh, do tab completion, but we can, however, grab that flag. And we'll grab this out of here. And there we go. 
that is going to do it for the room bounty hacker very nice room on just doing some beginner exploitation of a not terribly difficult box but being able to take information that we found and abuse it accordingly in a slightly guided manner otherwise if you have questions on this as always i have the try hack me discord and subreddit linked in the video description below along with the dark sec discord too if you enjoyed this content please subscribe to me on youtube follow me on twitter and until next time happy hacking